Good morning. I hope you're all well and uh, welcome to another Friday spiritual lecture. So following on from Monday's motto of the week, which was I am a powerhouse of divine cosmic love. So the first question I'm going to ask you is how often in your life have you been told that you're weak? I know I have been too weak to lift something, too, too weak to handle a problem, perhaps too weak willed to achieve something. Words that are thrown about constantly, and especially as women, we seem to quite often be told that we are too weak to do something. You know, too weak to achieve our dreams. In, in school, you know, we even get told our exam results are too weak to allow us to go to the university that we want or to go into the chosen career that we want. It's always that word, weak. It's an endless sort of diatribe of disempowerment. Now, the first thing I want us to understand is that there are different types of strength. You know, the strength to lift up a car is not something I possess at the moment. It's not something I'm particularly interested in. <laughs> But this is you know, totally different from, from disempowering someone based on not their physical attributes, but on their, their energy, their emotions, their thoughts, their spirit. And what happens is we end up sending a message of weakness to ourselves and to others. And we end up in a position in which we, we really believe in ourselves that we are simply too weak to go out and do whatever it is that we wish to do, that our hearts wish, heart, I'll try it again, that our heart wishes to do. You know, we end up limiting ourselves. We limit our belief in who we are. And all these statements, they gradually become our truth. You know, when I couldn't do something, I was too weak to do this. It, it all gets embedded within us, within our memory, within our energy. And then we build on this. Now, one question to ask ourselves is why would others want to keep us small, to keep us weak and disempowered? Sometimes because it suits them. Keeping us small makes them look bigger, more important. Sometimes because they don't want to lose us. And they're trying to keep us on the same sort of energetic level that they're at. So that they can keep feeling this, this resonation, this communion with us. It's their fear that they will be alone and abandoned. Sometimes they'll tell us that we're weak and pathetic, in other words, because they believe that they are limited. And hence, when they look at the world, this is all that they see. And actually, they're placing their image of themselves onto us and trying to make us into their reality. There's this weird thing that we have, you know, when people tell us not to be proud of ourselves. But pride in, in who we are, in what we can do, what we have created, we've been told it's a really bad thing. It's considered selfish, arrogant. But knowing who we are, it allows us to help others in the way that we are supposed to, in our own special way. If people asked me, you know, as a healer, can you help me? Now, if I doubt my skills... If I doubt who I am and what I can do, why on earth would anyone want to come to me? They wouldn't. And then they might stay in pain, stay locked in their position, because I was uncertain about who I am. And to be able to say, I am a healer, a light worker, this is not arrogant, it's not selfish. It is me acknowledging my role within this lifetime, just as you need to acknowledge yours. It is my strength, my belief in who I am that actually helps others rise. It helps to empower others, to help them stand tall in their strength. You know, fake modesty at this point helps no one. So when you look back and you think we trust the universe, well, we try to, don't we? <laughs> you know, we look at the universe and we see how things work. We see how things hang together. How awesome it is, how powerful. You know, we look at pictures of universes being born, of the Milky Way, of the sun. And we think, God, isn't it extraordinary? And then we look at the earth and we go, isn't it amazing? You know, my, my sunflower's out the front. 
and look, took a little seed and it grew into this huge plant. And I go, isn't that amazing? And, you know, we look at, look at life, you know, look at a volcano, you know, when it's come down, it's covered the ground in lava. And yet a plant will start growing through. Look at a plant growing on a rock. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much strength for that little plant to grow through. And then we look at ourselves and we think, oh, but I'm not a part of this. This doesn't, this doesn't include me. And yet you've looked at the stars and the universes. You've looked at Mother Earth and you've, you've marveled at it. And then we exclude ourselves and we say, no, no, that can't be me. I don't have that same strength. I'm not like that little plant that grows out of a rock that can push its way through lava. That's not me. But we have that same life force within us. And I know at times it can feel like we are trapped beneath all these rocks, buried beneath trauma and cruelty. But we have to remember that we have that same dynamic, incredible life force. It flows through us. It is us. And when we begin to recognise that, when we begin to see this inside of ourselves, we'll know that we always have that strength to rise again. Always, because we have that same incredible life force. And part of it is about making choices. You know, we can either allow the past, the influences of others, those who've tried to undermine our power. We can either allow all of this to stop us from stepping forward, or we can choose to step past it. We can choose to even use the past the cruelty, the pain, as a stepping stone for our future. We have that choice, and this is what it is, a choice. I know the harsh words and actions of others can be so debilitating. I've been there. But do they have to be? No, they don't have to be. There are other paths to take, other ways to see ourselves, other ways to see life. You know, when I have those moments of doubt, I... I see myself as a huge tree, standing tall. I ground myself into the earth and I call in the universe and I pull myself up and I know that I have the same strength as every part of this incredible universe. And it's, we mustn't let others bully us. They can only be a bully if we allow them to, but when we stand in our strength, they lose their power. Our time of being bullied is done. And now is the time to see ourselves, to see yourself as you truly are. As a divine being of cosmic light. With all this strength of the universe flowing through you. Helping you rise. Know that you are a powerhouse of love, light, joy universal energy and know that you can achieve you are strong enough to go and achieve whatever it is that your heart and your soul longs for just breathe in that strength it is yours and if someone calls you weak ever again remember it is their view of themselves and not yours stand true in who you are Thank you for having been with me here today and I will be back with another Friday Spiritual Lecture and I look forward so much to seeing you then. Have a blessed and light-filled week. Bye-bye.